check it out. I've got a whole entire toolbox of acoustic control for this Leonard project, and it's using this RP2040 microcontroller, and this happens to be the Marble Pico board out of Romania. I love this board. I'm using it to drive the acoustic horns on the Leonard project. And what I've done is I originally just had a PWM 50% duty cycle giving me sine waves with my stepper drivers. That's sort of my dirty way to brute force it so that I can get a sine wave from a square wave. And I just had like a fixed frequency and I was getting some stable bubbles. And then what I noticed is interesting stuff happens when I change frequency. The problem I've got is I'm still cycling between my command line and my webcam. So I can't see what happens on the webcam at the instant that I change frequencies. So I added a few more tools to this toolbox. One is PWM flip, which flips between two frequencies. And the other is PWM sweep, which sweeps. So I'm going to sweep from like 340,000 to 360,000 by let's say 100 hertz at a time with a delay of one millisecond. And I get a very nice waveform on this oscope. So we're going to test it on the Lenner reactor and see what those bubbles look like. I've done a whole bunch of new stuff at this reactor, and most notably, I put a wire down the center. And this is so that I could focus the camera on the very center. Now, I know that this kind of throws a wrench into the collapse of the perfect two horns coming together into one infinitesimal bubble right in the center. But what I found is that that is a very elusive challenge to get a single bubble right in the center. And I'm not going to throw out what I have right now before I thoroughly check a bunch of other stuff. And then we'll come back to a single bubble in the center possibly. But right now, there are bubbles forming on the wire, and I can learn from those. Don't forget the beauty of this design is it's modular. So these horns can come off, and I can throw a completely different geometry on there to get that focus in the center someday down the road. All right, now let's pressurize this reactor. We're just going to use deionized water again to look at bubble characteristics. Let's ramp this guy up to 20 psi. We're just going to fire him up with argon till we get to 20. That's probably good. This single white LED backlight is just too bright for the wire, so I'm going to go with something else. I know this is sketchy, but we're just going to pull that LED out of there and actually shine him on the green case to my radio code device, and then we'll be able to see the background much better. Perfect. That's highly scientific. All right, now it's time to test those new sweep tools we just programmed into that RP2040. Now we're going to back this pressure down because we've had some time for the argon to kind of saturate. This is pretty cool. We're down at like five PSI and you can see here, there's some kind of standing wave. You can just barely see these three little bubbles perfectly spaced. The water started getting cloudy. So I went back to the white LED and I've definitely got a bubble being controlled by that sweep. This is a very interesting sweep cadence. Listen to that. So it is jiggling the wire, but every once in a while I'll see a bubble. So that could be very, very useful. 